This is best game in the world. Sid Meier's Alpha Camp Tower. Planetary expansion pack. That's Alpha Centauri and Alien Crossfire, plus all patches and upgrades. It's final product. Wow, I don't know with what to start first because this game is just brilliant. It have so many concepts and so many changeable things, like this huge map that you can explore, native life, different environments and terrain improvements it's so deep that for example you can alter terrain and build a mountain and in left side of mountain you will get more rain and in right side of mountain you will get less rain and so land will be drier like everything this game has its deeper meaning. For example, like drone riots, when workers are rioting, you have social engineering and political settings, you can change between different governments and social, economical and political values, choosing what suits best your purposes and targets, you can be more green, more productive, or more military. You see how many settings you have here. It's, it's a lot more than in any Civilization series game. You can build secret projects, a lot of different units. This game has also deep storyline with a game chapters opening up after every major exploration breakthrough and showing you some part of this story about this strange planet that this planet all these life forms actually protect it and human intervention just produces more these life forms who are trying to protect their planet and so if you try to be more green you will receive less violent planetary attacks it's something to think about also living here um, you see how many things you can build and as far you go in game as more improvements you can build and combining them you can get a really uh, different effects you can also make different factions through faction editor and add every leader different aspects. You can make different units. You can choose will they be walkers or four wheel drive or boats, ships or planes, add different weapons or terrain instruments, tools to improve terrain or colony pods to produce new colonies. You can change between a lot of different items, you can add armor, you can add different kinds of armor, different reactors, what decides your movement speed, you can add also a special abilities, what can give you a great bonuses in fight or help you explore uh, surrounding terrain or help you in fight against native creatures it's it's really deep so if you combine them together you're getting uh, sometimes totally unexpected results so you can even take really weak unit and improving it correctly you can have it stronger than other units so it's really really interesting thing you see how great maps can be with a lot of cities so you have to be wise at your politics you have to know who will be your enemy and who better will be your friend and so you can plan your expansion with more or less uh, obstacles in your way 
you can produce friendship treaties it's something like alliances you can also defeat your opponent and when it's weak it can offer you uh, surrender or alliance something like that and he will never attack you again and he will share all his knowledge with you so you can get a lot of just through diplomacy and you can sometimes really long stay off the fight just uh, producing fights between other factions and if you're good at that and have money and uh, spy like units called uh, probes you can just use one enemy against another and so you can stay a long time without actual fight or you can just do the opposite you can just uh, use some alliances and create great military uh, political unions and start one great fight between two major forces on one planet so you just see how many things you can do here and in all of these 10 years there have been nothing more or less equal civilization 4 yes no it's good and with later expansion packs like beyond the sword it's it's really great and i like it but to play civilization in space it's something more real and something better because if you play something like Napoleon attacking agent Mayans with steel planes it's something uh, a bit strange but okay I like to play it sometimes but you cannot deny that 10 years ago Alpha Centauri had a lot more than Civilization 4 have now just play them both and compare you just see that that 10 years old game have a lot more in it than civilization have had ever it just shame that there never came second part I still hope that it will come someday and whoever owns the rights of this game will produce it because this game really own that it's it's best game of year 99 and I would say it's still best turn-based strategy game ever because you just if you have played you already know that but if you haven't played well that's problem because this game really had problem with some marketing or I don't know commercials because civilization is way more popular and this game is less more known and many people even doesn't realize that this game is so brilliant because they have never really played it but give a try and certainly try it out because it's it's so amazing and I really hope that all of you who like it so much will do something wrote some letters or I don't know produce some catchy songs or something to make people in charge to produce next part of it so good luck